Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Illustrator for Noobs and today we're going to be doing the Pathfinder. This is a really, really good way of making shapes where you're making shapes out of other shapes. That's the best way I can describe it. Um, you will probably find that with more and more practice it'll make a lot more sense, but I'll just show you the very basics of it. Um, so I've made two circles, one on top of the other. This is the one that's selected on the top. I want to select them both. So um, that's the two of them selected. So with the Pathfinder, it's, it looks like this. Or you, if you don't have it already out, then go to Window, Pathfinder, and it's there. Um, you've selected both. You want to create a ring. I don't know the names of all these, by the way. I tend to go by the pictures, but I'll read them as I go along for you. That one's exclude. So you're excluding the two pieces that are together. You'll see what I mean. So you've excluded that. So you've ended up with a ring. Um, I'm going to do Command-Z, which is just like any other thing when you're doing a Word document or whatever. It's the same thing. The wonderful um, undo or you can go over to object, sorry, edit, and then undo there. Um, the other thing you can do, so you've got those two shapes. The other thing you can do is do the opposite of what I've just done, which is this one, which is to do the intersect. So it keeps only the bits where the two pieces are connected. So that removed the outer one, and it only kept the middle one. Um, it'll probably be more obvious when you're using other ones together. Um, this one, for example, divide, it'll divide it into smaller pieces. So if you do that, it doesn't look like anything has happened, but actually it's turned it into a group, and the group is now made of this piece and this piece. So you can see you've got... It's a handy way of having you know, different things that you you can therefore change the colour of this one. You can make, you know, watches, clocks, whatever, all sorts of different things, buttons. Um, so that's, you've got those two pieces. Now, if you were to select those again, you could do this again, use divide. And then what that'll do is that it's divided into even smaller pieces. So if I was to choose the white arrow, the white arrow is really good that if something's in a group, you can click on just the specific piece. And then, see, you've got a nice little leaf shape. There. Each one is a separate shape. Um, and that's a really good way of having, you know, that where you've got those two things. So now we're back to the two separate pieces within the group. So then that's the circle one there or the ring there. Um, if we go and carry on with this combo of the ring and the circle, um, you could also do um, where you've got trim is slightly different because you can see that's, can you see what's happened? The bits that are overlapping, it's made it into one shape, but what you will find as you look down is that it's also made this as a separate um, as a separate shape so you could even see it's amazing isn't it so you can see that even from the actual image that's what it's done so that's another handy thing again um, we're back to the same thing with the ring and the circle and we were there, and then merge, what that does is that it puts the whole thing into one group, but you've still got also this as your separate um, piece, which you can, again, do the same thing. So it hasn't broken it up into smaller pieces and then had this one separately. Do you see what I mean? Yes. So it's made even the whole a shape. 
um, the thing that's slightly different between merge and you've also got unite, what unite will do is that it will create one shape out of the two. It doesn't take into consideration that this empty space, it doesn't turn that into a space. So there you have a slight difference between, even though they can sometimes work and produce the same results, merge and unite are slightly different. Merge does turn a space into a shape as well. Um, let me undo again. So we've got again back to the circle and the ring. The other thing you can do is also, if you did um, crop what that'll do, can you see it's now made it into different shapes and also the it's created what has been holes into something else. So you've got this shape here, plus you've also got, let me just highlight these so I can, if I put a colour in there then you'll actually see what it's done. There you go. But it's removed everything else. So it's basically turned the bits that are to do with each other, that are overlapping, but it's excluded the other bit. Um, the other thing you can do, I've never really used this, but I'm sure there's a use for it. This one, it's just made the whole thing into an outline, but each outline is a separate piece. So if you, you could actually, oops, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. So what you can do is you pick that piece and then it will move that into a separate piece. So it's just a way of being able to get strokes as opposed to shapes. Um, and this one is minus the back. So this compound, the, the ring is behind this. So mm. if you look, what it's done is that it's excluded the behind piece and you've got sort of like you can see that there's so many kind of global branding type things they use sorts of things like that you'll notice that um, and it's quite good because here you can either keep it as one or you can actually move that over and make something else um, and what else do we have have we done the exclude in the middle? Yeah, that everything that's been overlapping has been excluded. It's pretty self-explanatory. And you can make some really fab shapes with all that because you've also got things like that where, you know, you can break it apart that way. Um, and then this is the opposite of that in that it will only do the bits where that each bit is completely intersecting. So it's quite handy if you wanted to be able to cut off and have that sort of single shape and it's really precise way of doing things. Um, and this one would be minus the front. So the front one was the circle. But quite often you can use some of these, like you would have achieved the same thing with divide but that's broke, that would break it into lots of little pieces as opposed to this one where you just want that bit removed. Um, and so you can see that way. Or if you wanted to do it this way, then it's all into little pieces because you may want to use the others. But it's up to you. But I hope this has given you a bit of an idea of how you can make other shapes from using the simple shapes and using Pathfinder together. Um, it's worth spending some time and just experimenting and trying different combinations out and you'll be surprised what you can achieve. And actually, it's a really good way of drawing something really accurately by overlapping certain shapes together and it saves you so much time than to actually draw those things yourself. So there you have part four and hope to see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye. Peace and love.